Incoming State Auditor Brian Colon is demanding that current auditor Wayne Johnson step down with just a few days left in office. Colon says one of the first things he will do as auditor is launch an investigation into Johnson. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with both sides. Madeline? Dean, after Brian Colon's announcement today, the Attorney General's office confirms there is an active investigation into Wayne Johnson, but Johnson refutes the allegations, saying it's all politics and friendships at play. The two men that vied for Albuquerque mayor, then state auditor, are once again going head to head. And I'm calling on Wayne Johnson to step back from the office, do the right thing by the taxpayers in New Mexico, uh, and not expose them uh, to these inappropriate activities. And I think uh, Auditor-elect Colon is proving my point that he's conflicted, he's acting what could be construed as on behalf of his law firm. Today, Brian Colon announced he will investigate outgoing state auditor Wayne Johnson as soon as he takes office next week. And with only days left, Colon wants Johnson out now, saying that last week a whistleblower in Johnson's office called him with claims of abuse of power by Johnson. Colon also pointed to an active investigation by the AG's office into Johnson for using his office for personal gain, which the AG confirmed today with an October dated letter that raises concerns about Johnson's ability to be unbiased. That independence is going to be called into question by taxpayers and it should be and we should you know my job is to uphold the integrity of that office even as the auditor elect. Johnson says this is just a diversion tactic from a potential conflict of interest between the AG's office and a private law firm contracted by the state the same law firm Cologne works at. To me and I mean the the intimidation pattern is pretty clear with the, the AG's office. This was an attempt to keep me from reviewing a procurement. Yet the AG and Cologne say an independent auditor already determined no problems with the contract and that Johnson is the one trying to divert attention. Now, Cologne would not tell us what exactly the whistleblower's allegations were against Johnson. The AG's office also would not elaborate on the specifics of the complaints it's received either. Dean, back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. Cologne takes his oath of office on January 1st at the Roundhouse at 3 p.m.